Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to speak about simulating an Intellect 4 system. Uh, I've already started a simulation here, but I will uh, close it now and uh, first we'll talk a bit about this uh, Intellect 4 system. Then uh, we'll see how to start the simulation and what is in this simulation. So the Intellect system uh, was constructed as a development system for the MCS4 architecture. I have, I have here a brochure uh, that actually covers first the Intellect 8, but if we scroll down, uh, then we also see information about uh, Intellect 4. So this is the one that we're going to simulate today. Uh, as I said, it's a, a computer uh, designed for prototyping MCS4 systems. Uh, it was offered as a complete microcomputer system with 5 kilobytes of program memory, data storage, I.O., teletype interface and so on. Uh, obviously, it's based on the Intel 4004 CPU. Uh, we already discussed about the 4004 CPU, also about simulating it. There are already at least two videos available for this. So if you haven't watched them, then you should probably pause this presentation and see the other two videos. Okay, uh, so assuming that you already watched those, uh, you know that 4004 CPU is uh, a 4-bit CPU. However, it supports instructions uh, of either 8 bits or 16 bits, and it has a 12-bit address bus. Now, uh, since we already covered the simulation of the CPU, uh, what we need uh, to simulate an Intellect 4 system. Well, in addition to the CPU, we need uh, first the front panel. Uh, we also need uh, some content uh, in the memory, especially in the read-only memory. As previously discussed, uh, the 4004 CPU also requires uh, supporting ICs in the form of uh, special uh, ROM chips and RAM chips and these uh, actually uh, see the instructions and execute some of them. Uh, also the ROM and RAM chips offer uh, IO ports so for connecting data uh, we need this, but in the previous simulation for the 4004, we also covered these supporting ICs. So, uh, for simulating the system, uh, it should be quite easy. We need to simulate the front panel, uh, make the connections, and have a program, and it should work. Okay, so um, let's see a bit about the options. Uh, the Intellect 4 uh, system uh, came with optional modules. I'm not going to read through this information because you can access the brochure and read through it. But it's very important to keep in mind that uh, there isn't actually a single uh, Intellect system but uh, there is a base system uh, and additional modules that can be combined uh, to create a system used for particular project. Also, uh, if we look in the MCS4 uh, microcomputer set users manual, uh, on page uh, 9, uh, we see a uh, general architecture of the system with uh, the 4004 CPU 
with uh, the supporting ROMs uh, 4001 and uh, data ROM 4002. Uh, and uh, we see here the IO ports, in this case the output ports of the 4002. Uh, however, if we also look at uh, page uh, 69, uh, we see some additional schematics uh, for this uh, for different boards that can be plugged uh, in the system and. Um, here, uh, page uh, 61 of the manual, uh, we see the possibility of uh, adding uh, the 4008 and 4009 uh, supporting ICs uh, that allows us to combine uh, ROM, RAM and PROM uh, chips. Uh, which allows the system to uh, start from ROM, for example, where you would normally have a monitor. Uh, then uh, you could load a program into the program RAM. Uh, this should not be confused with the 4002 data RAM, which is uh, still present and is different from the program RAM. And uh, potentially you could use uh, pro. So, as I said, depending on uh, what you have installed, what options you have installed in the system, uh, the system may be uh, different uh, from what we are going to simulate. Also, uh, you may be interested in looking at the MCS4 assembly language programming manual. Uh, this uh, version that I have here is from December 1973 uh, and uh, in this one uh, all the instructions are detailed so if you are interested in learning how to program for the 4004 CPU uh, this is very good resource. Uh, maybe in the future I will also make a video about uh, this assembly language but uh, right now if you really want to learn how to program for the 4004 then this assembly language programming manual is the best place to go. Uh, I also have here a document with um, uh, a SIM4 uh, hardware simulator which is actually a prototyping board. I'm not going into details about it but at the end uh, of this manual uh, right on the last page we have an example which is a 4-bit AND routine which uh, actually allows uh, reading from two input ports uh, it will uh, make uh, an AND uh, and will uh, output the result uh, on an output port so this is uh, the basic simulation uh, that uh, we're going to run today. Now, uh, how to run it? Uh, first, uh, we need the um, Java System Simulator project. Uh, previously, I've uh, presented how uh, the 4004 simulation works. It's already included in here. Uh, you can either download the source code from uh, GitHub uh, or uh, you can directly go to the tags and uh, download the release uh, for example uh, this uh, 101 alpha uh, and where you already have the java system simulator jar uh, then uh, i have a separate project with uh, simulations uh, if we enter the simulations folder, we see here Intellect 4 and Intellect 4 switches. And this is everything you need uh, for the simulation. Now I have 
already downloaded everything here so we have the jar the Java system simulator jar uh, and also uh, the actual uh, simulation uh, it uh, actually contains a JSON file uh, and uh, the assembly source code uh, the resulting uh, hex which is uh, the actual program that we're going to run and an intermediate uh, listing file now I'm just going to open this one, but I will not uh, go through every instruction. Uh, I've mentioned here uh, the hardware simulator manual that I used for the source code. So this is the actual source code that's on the last page of the manual. The resulting hex file uh, looks like this. I will try to make future video about the hex format. And this is the simulation JSON file. Uh, it starts with a name, uh, maximum simulation steps. You can force the simulation to end after a number of steps, but right now there is no maximum. Uh, you can specify a delay between steps, currently it's set to 1 millisecond. Uh, you can uh, specify, for example, uh, 0 and let's say 1 nanosecond. And in this case it will run very fast. Uh, or alternatively, uh, you can specify something like 100 milliseconds, in which case it will run slower. Uh, the speed can be adjusted based uh, on your uh, device. Then we have here the devices that uh, are part of the simulation. Uh, we start with the uh, front panel. Uh, this is implemented uh, in Java code as Intellect 4 front panel. Uh, at this moment I have not yet created a video about this one, but uh, I will create one very soon. We have the CPU, uh, which is an Intel 4004, uh, also implemented in Java. Uh, this one is covered by previous videos. Then we have a ROM device. Uh, this is um, already loaded with uh, the program. Uh, again, there is a video about simulating memory. We also have data RAM. Uh, we also have a memory bus uh, and an IO bus and a control bus. There are videos about uh, simulating buses. And we have uh, the switches. These uh, are uh, the first set of four switches, the second set of four switches. These are also implemented in Java, uh, and probably I will make at some point a video about this. And uh, finally we have the LEDs, uh, which represent the output. And finally we have the connections. Uh, we have uh, the ROM uh, connecting to the memory bus, the data ROM. Uh, here uh, you may wonder uh, how these are connected here or maybe why these are connected here and what are these uh, addresses. But again, please take a look at the Intel 4004 simulation where I mentioned that uh, the 4004 with the supporting ICs are simulated in such a way that uh, memory addresses are mapped to a contiguous space uh, then we have the buses attached to the CPU. Uh, we also have uh, the buses and the CPU attached to the front panel. And finally, uh, to the IO bus, uh, we have the switches and the LEDs. Again, uh, in the Intel 4004 simulation video, uh, I described that also these uh, IO ports are mapped to a contiguous space. 
uh, and uh, we don't need to actually simulate individual uh, ICs. Okay, uh, so now uh, we need to open a command prompt here. I already have one. And uh, we execute the jar uh, with uh, the folder uh, containing the simulation. And at this moment, uh, we have the Intellect 4 uh, front panel. This, the simulation has already started. I can uh, make this window smaller. We also have the buttons and the output uh, LEDs. So now, for example, if I press here the button number 2, here the button number 2, and of course the end uh, will be shown uh, here. If I press also 3, okay, we also see 3. Uh, we can also uh, play with uh, the buttons here. For example, I can uh, stop the simulation. Uh, this is something that uh, you can do on the real uh, system. Uh, I can uh, single step I can uh, reset the system, can uh, start the simulation again, I can stop it, <coughs> I can uh, for example uh, enable uh, memory access, I can uh, load uh, an address specified here, uh, maybe uh, you are already familiar with uh, front panels that have switches and uh, lights. Uh, if not, uh, then it's uh, possible to specify an address here. Uh, for example, uh, let's see this address. This is actually uh, address 2 because these are the 12 bits for the address. So here in binary I have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, so this is 2. Then if I press load, uh, I notice here uh, on the first row of lights uh, I have the address. Uh, then here I have the content of this memory location. Uh, okay, uh, you may also wonder why uh, this maybe doesn't look uh, that good. Uh, this is because I've actually used a photo of the front panel. Uh, I wasn't able to find the high resolution photo. So if anyone has uh, such a high resolution photo of the front panel, I'd be very interested. So please share it in comments or on GitHub. And I will try to include it. Um, now for the buttons, uh, you can also place them uh, wherever you want on the screen. Uh, these are just uh, very simple Java windows. Uh, as I said, maybe I will make a movie because it's uh, uh, useful to know how uh, it's possible to create uh, additional uh, peripheral devices uh, in the simulation. One uh, thing to mention about the front panel simulation, uh, the search feature uh, using uh, these buttons uh, is not fully implemented. But other than that, uh, the rest of the front panel should work. Again, I don't have access to a real Intellect 4 uh, system. Uh, so, if anyone has access to a real system and finds any issues, please let me know in comments. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.